Hi everyone, it's Red. Well it's Sunday. Can you tell I've got nothing to do because I'm back on the allotment. <laughs> eh, uh, just popped out of Wilkinson's. It's that time of the year. I don't normally grow potatoes. To be honest, I think it just takes up a lot of your space and it's with compost and everything it's a bit expensive. But someone's convinced us on Facebook to give it a go. So I has been shopping. So I've got three kestrel. As I heard they're nice. So because Wilkinson's got a bit of a half price sale on so I got these. I don't think these were half price, I think it's just the seeds that are half price. And what else? What are these? And some Charlotte. I still need to get some main crop but or is these a main crop? Someone just flew on us. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know how to put potatoes. Right, so yeah, got me potatoes. Uh, what else I, I probably got some of these seeds but it would have been so cheap I picked them up in case I haven't. So I've got some of this. Uh, Achelia I think it's called. We, we put that in the garden because it smells absolutely lovely. Uh, some nasturtiums, and tortoise loves them, so I grow that for the tortoise and other bits and bobs around the allotment. I don't grow sunflowers, so might as well give that a go. I've got plenty of space now to grow a lot more things and just some cabbage. So I'm going to start chitting the potatoes. Um, I got, I don't know if I can spin you around, I got some. Uh, you see them? Plastic cell tree, the polystyrene cell trees for nothing. I've given some to Dean and uh, give a few to Dave. Dave shows after a few, so I think he's going to pop up tomorrow and uh, get some. So, yeah, they are great for now. The guy had hundreds, but when I'd got there, someone had come and taken stacks and stacks of them. So, oh, I'll press something on the screen. So yeah, and we uh, cheers for the replies about the paraffin heaters. They just come with the allotment, that's why I was uh, asking about them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five paraffin heaters. So I was just going to use them. Something dripping over there. Oh, it leaks everywhere this thing. That's why I'm worried about uh, chitting the potatoes, because I'll put them on this side because water runs down. <laughs> but that side, just all of this. The compost's constantly wet. This bench is constantly wet. So I'll just wet. So I need to seriously figure something out. I, think <laughs> I need someone that's good with structural stuff to tell us because I'm, really, I'm not clued off to water dripping. That's what it was. <laughs> it's raining inside. Right, I'm going to get on and get some chitting done. So I'll see you in a minute. So that's some all sewn. So there's my first series. Second earlies, I've just got to get some main crop, which plenty of time to get them. Um, there's no need telling you how to chit potatoes, it's pretty self explanatory. You just put the pips to the top. There's plenty of videos out there of more knowledgeable people telling you how it's done. So I'm just going to quickly check. I haven't seen. I've planted some broad beans. Let's see how many onions are getting on. So, broad beans are pushing themselves up so I've obviously put them in upside down. <laughs> uh, they're not onions. Look at these Broccoli's getting massive so I might have to transplant that soon. I'm gonna put the, put the broccoli in these pots but really deep down and hopefully that'll recover them. So, at least it's not windy the day. Why? Past few days has been blowing a gale. So, what am I going to do now? Oh, this has been touch screen, so it keeps popping things on. So, as it's quite a wet rag day, I think I'm just going to start pottering on in here, tidying a little bit up there. I'm going to follow Dave's advice for the polytunnel, and I'm going to skim the top layer off. I've also got a burner, which I'll show you. 
which I was a bit apprehensive of using. Wow, um, in a poly tunnel. There you go. This thing come with a plot. So I've got a little tin of propane or whatever that's called. So there it is, propane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim the top off. Oh, look at this one. I mean, I'm never going to need a screw or a nail for the rest of my life. There's about four billion of them. And all these pots. Once the shed comes over, I'm going to put the garden tools and the pots in the other shed. And this is just going to be like a little workshop type thing. But yeah, what I'm going to do is skim the top off the soil and uh, burn the, the soil that's on show. So that might work. I'll, I'll take the top off first and then once I've posted this video i will probably get told to even burn it <laughs> but it's just like a flame thing I think people use them for weeding and I think I need to clean this glass I wonder if that's what's making the water sort of run in the wrong directions because, oh sorry if you look at the glass it's quite minging I don't know if you can see I'll put it that way, let's see it's the outside that's rotten. So I wonder if I give the windows a clean, that'll help the water run off and not run in the wood. I don't know. I kind of get up then. I kind of do that at the minute. I can go around the back and wash them out of the next engine pool, but I kind of get up there, not on my knee. So anyway, yes, I'm going to crack on and decide which one I'm going to do. So I'll see you in a bit. As you can see after the other day, yeah, there's, there's a lot of weeds, seeds and still bits on top so I'm going to try and do something with it really. There's still some there, uh, it looks like clover. Yeah, clover. Got any idea what that is? And there's the old dock, that's going to come up with some nettles. But I'm just going to sweep the centre bits of carpet underneath. So I'll clean that up, bring my seat in, stretch my leg out and start weeding. Yeah. I can't really record because the camera's, the, the lens is not a wide lens, so you can only see half. You know, you'll see the back of my head, so I'll just show you what it's like when it's done. Okey dokey. Well, I've had to give up on that. I've got the big weeds out, but my knee's just hurting too much. So I'll give it a tidy, it'll not take much to finish off once my legs a bit better. So then, I need to go and get some compost from the shop. They might be open on a Sunday but they're not today so I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I don't know what the crack is. Just been sorting out my compost heap, I've put a bit of cardboard on the top. But it's looking a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. So I'm going to take that diagonal bit out and all. I've got to straighten these paths because it's a right bend and curved in. So that's a job for the future. But at least I can get in. That's the main thing. On to the next one. Hello guys. Well it's Tuesday and another new injury. Went to get in the car last night and I bent my ring finger back because my knee I struggled to get in the car and there wasn't enough gap between me and the other car where I had to go in backwards and swing my legs round. My knee gave way and down went the finger and all my weight went on this finger and it's broken so I've got to go to the hospital tomorrow and see whatever they want to do to it. So heads, shoulders, knees and arms. <laughs> so yesterday I uh, got a visit from a guy called Dave Shaw who he doesn't do YouTube videos but he, he's active with a lot of people like with Dave D and you'll, you'll have seen him and he's always active posting. Uh, spot on guy like and he come up here Give us a good few ideas. So the first thing is this shelving here. That's going to go because it's rusty and minging, and I'm going to have a, like a seating area there. Under here, you agree that I need to dig down a bit because my head's skimming the ceiling or oh, roof, whatever you call it. So at some future point, I'll have to dig this trench out, and uh, yeah, once I'm healed up. I can move everything from the other plot. He's offered to give us a hand to do that. So cheers for that, Dean. Dean, cheers for that, Dave. 
um, and he helped us spend me money. He told us that there was some deals on at a garden centre near us and I decided to go from no flowers to loads of flowers. So I've got tulip seeds for uh, 10 packs for a fiver. There's about six tulips in each. So I've got some yellow tulips. I've got some small daffodils. Now as you know me, never, I've grown a few dahlias but they're still in the ground over there. So blue hyacinths. I like hyacinths, they smell lovely. I like smelling flowers more than ornamental but I need to attract insects here. There's some more hyacinths. These are like pinks. I've planted a few loose bulbs in the house because uh, they smell nice in the house as well. A rainbow variety, so there's multiple colours there. A nice violet. I don't know what colour that is. It looks nice. A couple of daffodils. I've just dropped a bulb on the floor. A white hyacinth. And some very lovely red ones. So, pick this bulb up. And then you can get 30 bulbs for two pound. So I've got 60, 60 bulbs in there. What they are, I couldn't tell you. So I'm just going to have to plant them, grow them, and see what comes, see what colour they are. And then next year, like, label what colour they are and give them more of an arrangement. So I'm just trying to decide where to put them. Do I just put them all in buckets? Um, let them grow in the buckets and then do it there? Or do I just whack them straight in the ground and see what comes up? I was going to get um, some snowdrops, but it was uh, a thousand seeds for a fiver. A thousand bulbs. Oh, I don't think I need a thousand snowdrops on my allotment. That might be a little bit overkill, so I want to keep my eye out for some some cheaper ones for next year because obviously they're around now so I'm, when I'm walking the dog if I see some hidden in hedges which just looks like wasted nobody's going to see them I'll dig them up and bring them up because there's loads growing around where I live so yeah today I'm going to get on and put these up they're not in the best of states like as you can see there's a couple got mould I was in a bit of a sort of a frenzy of picking without noticing all this, so I'm going to give them a clean off and get them planted. I think what I might do is I might just put them in pots. Just put all of them in pots. I'm going to have to get some more compost. Actually, I don't think I've got enough compost. And then see what grows and see what doesn't, because some of them are in a crappy state. Like. So, yes, that's where I'm at up now, so I'm going to have to get this covered over because I don't want it covered in soil. We shall get busy season a bit. Well, I've had a change of plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them on the edge of this borders. So when you walk up, there's a nice floral company all the way up them sides as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get you set up. Now, from what I've read, these have got to be eight inches in the ground. I mean, like pot car and kettle here trying to me telling people how to how to plant the plant. There's loads of little weeds under here. Oh, it's a bit so on the old knees this. I'll have to heat this one up. So Ooh, quite surprised with all them. And I think, well, I think eight inches is a bit excessive, so I'll go about five, five or six inches. Right. Grab the camera. So I don't know what colour they are, but they're going to go in. Side by side like that. I'll have some different varieties in. Mix it all up. I'll put the little ones a bit higher up. So 
So yeah, I've got 60 loose bulbs and about the same in um, packets. So cover them over. Oops, sorry. And I'll put some little ones yeah. in between. I'm trying to remember where I'll end it up. One in the middle. So that's them in. Time to rinse and repeat. To see what mysteries come out of the ground the next time. Well, that's them all planted. Just give them all water in. Don't need much water because the ground's pretty wet already. So I've managed to get them in for the beds this side and the opposite side of here because the other beds they've still got to yeah, I've got to weed them and put more compost in so they can just wait till next year I think see I've done that one, that one that one that one and that one so yeah just give them a good good old water sort of Mix them all up, I don't know what's in way. A bit of a Mr. Bassett's, a bit of all sorts coming through. But we'll see what it looks like. Oh, and then what are these and I'm going home for? I'm in a lot of pain. Bye bye. Okay, so, as you can see, I've taken some of the bubble wrap off the windows and the heating here. It's, it's a gorgeous day, the day. Like. The paraffin heat there was an epic failure. As the two, I had one in the bottom, but I was not aware that they needed an airflow. I thought you just put it in, heat the place up. So the seeds, I'll show you. The seedlings have all curled up, and I'm not looking happy. It still stinks of paraffin in there, so I think I'll just leave that open for the day. So I'll leave that open while I'm here. It's a marion. But yeah, cool beans are showing no sign of cauliflower. There's a couple of little ones there. No sign of the onions yet. Grapevine, I think that's deep. Just having a quick one. I'll wander through. I'm going to get rid of this red bench. Take it to the tip because it's just rotten and rusty. And that will create a little bit better space. Because all it was, all it's for is just a few bits and bobs. I can easily find a new home in that dump for them. Yeah, I was having a little rummage through yesterday, just getting things in order here. So it's a little bit more organised, fixing the toolbox. I needed a bit of a DIY done to it. Um, more the moon, because I knew I had a watering, self-watering system. But sorry, I'm wobbling the camera around. It's got all the, the nipples and all the little taps. There's quite a few of them. So I'll help with that and then there's another roller pipe in there. Had a good laugh on Dean's live vid last night. I like I enjoy them when I get to see them anyway. So look forward to the Dean and Dave show. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good laugh. So, I've just been tidying up a little bit. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. So, yeah, the guy come and ask for some Brussels, so I give him a stack of Brussels. I had a big fire, so all the wood that was down here, I burnt that. I just started weeding that because there was loads of couch grass in it. So I wanted to get into one and get a doot. I mean it goes underneath this black plastic so I'm just going to have to work with it. But this is all rotten, this, this bed. Just knackered. So I need to get a couple of uh, them other kind of scaffolding planks. I want to clear this area because this is where the shed's going to go. Put that soil 
around the, the rhubarb which don't go very well because they're in the shade so I'm, I might take a, a cutting off mine and put it somewhere up there Maybe, I don't know if you can grow it in barrels can you grow rhubarb in barrels? So let us know uh, I'm not going to sieve through my compost at the old plot I'm just going to barrow it and put it straight in the bed and let nature take its place compost and everything down uh, what else? So at the minute, I mean the, the polytunnel, I think you've seen what I've done, I'll quickly open it. I've only got a couple of hours a day, I've got a physio for everything that I've bust. As you can see, I've got a new splint on my hand. The polytunnel's up and smashing. You know, obviously it's as good as this can look. <laughs> but it's cleared out, it's usable. Just waiting for when the weeds kick in. I'll have to get cracking on with them. I just pull them all out every time. I've lost my universal lock. There it is. So today's job is I want to move all of this here to behind the polytunnel, just out the way, because it's doing nothing. So I'm going to tidy up back here and do it. Well, I looked at the rhubarb. I've moved this, a bit of rhubarb from the other pot. I don't know if you can see it up there. Right in that little corner there. The guy was saying, why don't you just use the two crowns that were there? Which, they were pretty rubbish when I seen them growing. And I couldn't understand why. I mean, look at them. You see the size of the root? It's like a tree trunk. So, I've seen them grow a couple of years when, when I've been walking past them, they haven't been very good. So when I've lifted the soil, I mean there was only about two, three inches of soil come up like snow, but he's got perspex underneath. I cannot understand why you would plant a deep root and plant like a rhubarb on top of perspex. It just doesn't make any sense. So I've piled all that over there. I need to either sieve through it, I, mean, I probably will have to sieve through it. It's full of couch grass. You can see there, I've filled the fire of couch grass. Nettles. Because this area you have decided this is going to be my compost. Oh, sorry. This is going to be the compost area. So I'm going to have three bins. And then this. this is basically this in the future will be here. Then I can get along and I can clear that fence there. I need some space you kind of get in around that chicken pen and as you might have heard I fancy some bees so I might put them here in this corner so they're out the way of people's allotments these just never use this one behind us uh, so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I've got a big sheet of galvanized steel across the old allotment which I might put along the back but yeah uh, i just, I can't do any more, my uh, legs are hurting. So I'm going to go in the shed and I'm going to take the shelving down. So, I want to wipe, wash the inside. I found some uh, detergent in the other pot. Have I got to have it? Yeah, you can see I've planted that crown. I know it's late to plant crowns, but. This red shelf is what's going to go today. So, see you in a minute. As you can see, a little bit more tidying. I've cleared them drawers and put them under there. So, that creates a little bit more shelf space. Because if the drawers, it might as well be under there. Yeah, I just need to find a home for all this rubbish. Still just cleaning up underneath the bits and other bits of bobs can go underneath. Yeah, it's looking a lot to tidy in here. Show the board there. Need to nail it up a bit better. But when I was hammering it, everything was falling off the shelves. <laughs> so yeah. I'm pretty much done now. My knees got mad. So that's it. That's it for the day. So I shall see you later. <laughs>